We remain in early warming weather alert mode. Heat, high humidity, also severe storms ongoing throughout Connecticut. Our ICAM view from Bradley Airport, Windsor Locks, air cooled, uh, rain cooled, I should say, to 72 degrees. West northwest wind at 20. Uh, the worst of this rain has just shifted to your east. The visibility certainly improved over the past five or 10 minutes. Here is this line that's working uh, from, say, Summers back through Windsor Locks and over 91 into Windsor right now, back toward Avon, certainly affecting travel long 91 north of Hartford along uh, Route 44 uh, to the northwest of Hartford. This is going to be moving over the I-84 corridor as this line, this cluster of storms, heads toward the east at around 35 to 40 miles an hour. Uh, a severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect for Hartford and as well as uh, for Tallinn counties, extending back into Litchfield County. Uh, this line, again, has the capability of producing gusty winds up to around 60 miles an hour, some small hail, frequent lightning, and very heavy rain that could renew the concern uh, for some poor drainage and flash flooding. Uh, up near the Massachusetts border in the quiet corner, we've got thunderstorms that are riding uh, right along the uh, Massachusetts-Connecticut border. Again, these are moving basically from west to east. So on the uh, statewide perspective, show you that uh, extending back into parts of Fairfield County, again, we've got this line of storms and intense storms as well that are uh, severe warned in eastern New York crossing the lower Hudson Valley. So it will take some time for that line to progress east across Connecticut and until it does so, we will continue the risk for damaging wind. Heavy rain leading to flooding concerns with any thunderstorm, severe or otherwise lightning is an issue. So it's summer. It's a good part of our state still enjoying just hot and humid weather compared to severe weather. Uh, so if you are outside here, thunder, head inside, let these storms pass you by. And there's still the possibility in the next couple of hours in the region for an isolated tornado. So far today, we've had one report of a tornado. We're going to have some video from uh, the Keene, New Hampshire area coming up uh, in the next, uh, say, five to ten minutes. Uh, so our view from Torrington, where we're near, nearing around 1,000 power outages so far, uh, as reported by Eversource. Conditions for the time being certainly improving there. And from southeast Carolina. Connecticut and Mystic, things are quiet for the time being. Again, rain cool there, northwest Connecticut. Temperatures much uh, you know, cooler, 80 to 85, compared to, say, areas along in southeast of 84, where we're still in the 85 to 90 degree range. You factor in the high humidity, dew point values well into the mid-70s, feeling more like 101 in Hartford and 100 degrees right now uh, in New Haven. So many uh, weather-related issues for us that are not going to really end uh, really anytime soon. We have to get through several more days as heat and humidity. So our severe thunderstorm from watch that rem remains in effect until 8 o'clock is for this line of storms that continues to progress across uh, Connecticut. So future cast showing uh, as we head toward 8, 9 o'clock tonight, the threat uh, will eventually diminish. We'll clear out overnight tonight. Tomorrow, a dry, bright, but hotter day. Mid-90s inland, 90s along the 95 corridor, but that humidity remains high, so heat index values will still be up to, if not over 100 degrees. Uh, we're going to come close to records. 96 for Hartford and a 95 for Bridgeport for the 28th of July. We could certainly challenge those. Dew point values remain up until Saturday. Saturday night, a cold front moves through behind that. A refreshing change. Uh, cooler, less humid air will be arriving. So here's a look at Saturday. We'll start off uh, dry, uh, but as we head through the later morning and early afternoon hours, future cast trying to uh, indicate some scattered showers and storms, but the main event likely comes toward sunset on Saturday, at least as we see it now, and this is an evolving situation. So of course, as you make your weekend plans, stay with Channel 3. We'll keep you updated. But these storms on Saturday also could be strong to severe are in association with that uh, arrival of cooler, less humid air for Sunday. Low 80, sun and clouds Sunday. Uh, look at next week. We've got uh, overnight lows that eventually go into the 50s. That's 20 degrees cooler than what we're forecasting for tomorrow night and after in high temperatures, upper 70s and low 80s with uh, a fairly dry stretch outside of perhaps a brief isolated shower at some point. So uh, I've got our alert again for tomorrow as well as for Saturday. The big improvements on the way. All right, Mark.